Hi, my name is Zai, and this is the Fnatic Gear Rush keyboard. When choosing a board, I generally tell people to choose a switch type, and then to consider if they want extra keys or functions, and then of course, the cost. This board has Cherry MX switches, and you can get it in three different switch types, red, brown, or blue. Red is quiet with no tactile bump, brown is quiet with a tactile bump, and blue has a click and a tactile bump, so it's the loudest and apparently the most addictive to listen to. This one has blue switches, so here's a sound test without O-rings. And this is an example with O-rings. Board acoustics will alter this sound, but it's a general idea. O-rings basically stop the key from bottoming out, so it makes it quieter, but it also means the key won't feel as crisp. This board is available in several layouts, being US, UK, German, Nordic, and French. There are no extra keys, but it does have a function key, which gives the extras on the F keys. There we have mute, volume up, down, play pause, previous and next track, then 5 profiles and F12 as the fanatic mode. The board stores the profiles which you can switch to easily using the function key with F7 to F11. Each profile then stores up to 10 custom keys. They can be set in software, simply select the one you want to change, then click the key you want to assign, like this, and then select the function from the menu. The options are unassigned, macro, cut, copy, paste, and undo, Select all, find, new, print, save, launch, and disabled. Once you have selected the function, click apply. And now when you press that key while in fanatic mode, it should activate the function. Just a note, if you do this, you will lose the original function of the key in fanatic mode, but it will go back to normal when not in fanatic mode. The idea is to set up the profiles so you can switch between them and get the functions when you need them. This is a great feature for setting up macros around your standard configuration. To record macros, again, select the key you want. Select Macro in the drop-down. A Macro Recorder window will then come up. Hit Record and set your macro. And of course, once you want to return to standard mode, just hit Function plus F12 again. The board is 44.5 centimeters across, 15 centimeters without the wrist thrust, and 21 centimeters with it. It's 2.5 centimeters high, and about 3.6 centimeters with the feet extended. And there are rubber feet on the base to prevent it from sliding around. The wrist thrust is detachable and it has a smooth rubber coat. The entire board actually has the rubber coat, giving it a nice finish, soft to the touch. It doesn't feel cheap and other than some hand prints you might get on the rubber, it should be durable if proper care is taken. You'll need a key remover for cleaning properly or you can use a brush or an air blower to get rid of the dust. There are two USB ports on the back, which is a nice touch. I have this keyboard plugged into USB 3 and the Fnatic Flick G1 mouse seems to work well plugged in. I couldn't feel a delay with the mouse plugged in like this, which means it might be good for LANs too. There is no cable management system, but the cable is on the right, which has actually suited my setup very well. The cable is braided and 2 meters long. The LEDs can be turned off using the function key with the keypad, and there are 3 brightness settings and a breathing mode. It isn't available in any other colors, but red seems to be a popular choice for single color boards. Perhaps because it seems easier on the eyes than blue or green. If you'd like to buy one of these boards, you can purchase them directly from the Fnatic shop or head to Amazon, where they're $99 at the moment. I'll leave some links in the description. Special thanks to Fnatic for sending this out for review. I've really enjoyed using the board in gaming as well as editing all my videos, and I look forward to trying more of their products in the future. Subscribe for more keyboard reviews and typing tests, like this video, and I'll catch you in the next.